we are in Trudham. We had yesterday the institution of the Eucharist and today the Passion of Christ. We will see the resurrection. Let me start with this prayer. On this day, when Christ died on the cross for our salvation, we can pray, Dear Lord Jesus, by your passion and resurrection, you brought life to the world. But the glory of the resurrection came only after the suffering of the passion. When we begin the veneration of the cross very soon, it will be good to keep in mind the following aspects. In the cross, we see hope. In the cross, we encounter love. In the, the cross tells us that in the love of God, nothing is lost. We see hope, we encounter love, and in that love, nothing is lost. In the cross, we meet Jesus, the one who took away the sins and overcame death in dying for us. We see each such more on the cross. We see the infinite value of human life. We see Jesus dying out of love for humanity. We see redemption. We see the one who left the glory of heavenly a home and entered into our earthly life and faced our own the earthly death. Our mission is to attain the eternal life. Through walking on the path of Christ, and I'm sure it is very hard to walk in Christ's steps, especially when we try hard every day, every moment, uh, to become a gentle person, to become a forgiving person, to become a lovable, a loving person, a good person, a Christian. Doing the right things, doing the right things every day, in every moment of our lives, the others can cause, others can cause some attack, false judgment over us. It is in that time we look at the cross. It is here where you encounter the virtue of mercy. Even though you are in the right and pluck your beard and Buffer your chin, forgive them, as prophet Isaiah says. Yet in the depths of your soul, you must call the strength of Christ and keep a deep breath and remain calm. Matthew chapter 5, verse 11, blessed are you. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and utter all kind of calumnies or false judgments. In your mercy, love them, forgive them, and move closer to Christ. We follow the Christ who forgave the people even from the cross. He expressed his human love for his mother and protection for all the disciples by entrusting his own mother for our protection and asking he had that human love to take care of his own mother. So he's entrusting to the disciples. The human character is very well seen on the cross. The human love is very well expressed on the cross. The human sacrifice, my dear friends, you sacrifice your time and effort and talents for the well-being of the family, 
and that is being appreciated on this day when you look at, when you and I, when we look at the cross, when we venerate the cross, all these aspects will rotate in our, in our head. My dear friends, it is said that when the, when the nails of the people through the criticisms break your heart and does, they do not forgive you, they hate you, but always remember the love of Jesus who sacrificed his life on the cross comes to us even before we ask. Therefore, we firmly believe that God's love comes over to us every day, in every moment of our life, whether we are having pain or whether we are having joyful situation, but God loves each one of us individually and forgives and takes care of us individually by the mercy of the Lord. When we look at the cross today, we really thank Jesus for dying for us, for giving us redemption through carrying the Holy Cross and giving us the meaning and the hope for our own struggles, trials, and difficulties. Let me conclude with the following prayer of Saint Ignatius. Lord, teach me to be generous. Lord, teach me to serve you as you deserve. Teach me to give and not count the cost, to fight and not to heal the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of all knowing that I do your will. Amen.